Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you a groundbreaking new Webflow update that gives you the power to seamlessly integrate Spline 3D into Webflow. And that's exactly what I've been waiting for. So I gave it a try and make this stunning demo website. So let me show you how I did it. So the Webflow Conference 2023 just happened a couple days ago and they announced a lot of incredible features and updates. But the one that really captured me as a 3D web design geek is the new feature called Splice Scene that lets you seamlessly integrate Splice into Webflow. That means you can control and create interaction with Splice 3D right from Webflows. So this really opens up endless possibility for you to create even more immersive and creative web experience. Alright, so here we are in a splice scene that I created. So it's a very simple scene and you don't have to create any interaction in splice. Just need to make sure you name your layer properly so you can better identify it in Webflow. So all we need to do is you go to export and open this viewer tab and just copy this link right here. And make sure you click on update viewer every time you modify the scene. And then let's go to Webflow and you can see I have a website template here. Uh, now I'm going to add this splicing component to the site. So you can find it right here in the media tab. Now let me just drag this into the layout. And then we have something like this. Now let's paste the link that we just copied from Spli into this form right here. And bam, we have the splice scene shows up here, looking very nice. Now let me just demonstrate how to add some interaction into this splice scene. So let's go to this interaction tab. So here we have element trigger and page triggers. So for this hero banner, I want to do something simple like using the mouse to make the controllers rotate a little bit. So I'm going to go with page trigger. Uh, so let's click here to add the interactions and select mouse moving viewport. And then let's click on this action drop down and select play mouse animation. And then let's click here to add a new mouse animation. Uh, so first let's give it a quick name. So I wanted to affect the X axis only. So let's click here and open this menu and, and select supply integration. So it will give you something like this. So if you click back on here, you can see that we have to stay zero and 100%. So 0% means that your mouse cursor is all the way to the left and 100 is all the way to the right. So with the first stage selected, let's go down here and in this supply tab, let's select an object that you want to animate. Let's select this video game controller group. And down here you have a lot of options to move, turn around, or scale it. Uh, so let me just rotate it like this for the first state. And then let's go to the second state. And select the same group. And rotate it a little bit to the right. And then you can go to this tab and turn on this live review. So now you can see how it works by moving the mouse cursor. Uh, so yeah, this is working really nicely. So you can even play around by adjusting the other properties like different rotation angles like this to make it even better. Right, so now let's click preview to see how it's worked. Love it, it's working like magic here. Alright, so next, uh, let me show you another example of what you can do. So I have another splice scene component here. And for this one, I want it to break apart as we scroll through. So let's go to the interaction tab. And for this one, I'm going to create a element triggers. So let's select while scrolling in view. And then click here to open this action drop down and select play scroll animation. And let's click here to create a new scroll animation. And then let's add the spline integration to this animation. So if you click here, you can see there's two states, zero and 100%. So for the zero state, I'm going to select a joystick. And you can click on this to set the keyframe. And you can move it to see how it's uh, going to affect the 3D models. But for this stage, uh, we're going to go with zero. And for the second stage, let's also select joystick and set the keyframe to the Z position and change the value so it can just moving out like this. Uh, so we have two stage like this. So now let's give it a preview. Uh, so let's scroll down. And now you can see that as we scroll, the joystick are breaking apart from the controllers, but I think we can make it a little bit crazier. Let's go back to the interaction tab and move it even further. 
and we can even add more object to this animation by just click here and add another slide integration and with this one i'm going to select the centerpiece and make sure to add it to the 100 state as well so uh, we have something like this and for this state let's also make sure that we select centerpiece so now let's uh, select the first state and add a keyframe to the Z value and second state. Increase the value so it's moving away from the controller like this. So after that, let's check it in previews and now we have something like this. So it's looking very cool. Alright, so that was some basic demonstration to show you how it works. But you can see that with just a few click, we can fully integrate Splite 3D into Webflow to create awesome 3D web experience. So this is the end of my tutorial today, so I hope you find this helpful and I'll see you in the next one.